Hi guys, welcome to another vlog, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. We're basically here again, yes, on the KA, and um, I do apologise. Lots and lots of videos on this at the moment, but obviously it's you know it's fast progress and uh, much needed because we've got loads of testing races, etc. coming up. So I thought I'd um, give you another fill in as to what we're doing. Um, we're finally getting the last bits on the seat um, done, and um, I'm also I've made uh, this fancy little bolt. Well, it's not that fancy, but it's made up from the uh, standard toe and eye and we've made it into a little bolt you can probably see as such so you can get a spanner on there as well so we can put those towing um straps on there from luke from corbo seats and uh yeah anything else we've got to do like the uh, we might start the fryer suppression as well today uh but yeah i'll keep you informed as to what we're doing obviously france where i was helping or well, doing most of the work <laughs> should i even say um I, as you probably would have known from if you've seen my race license video or france i get his race license you'll know that he's also a driver which is mega awesome. so yeah and he can't wait he's got his license he passed if you haven't seen that i'll stick a little uh you know link up here um but yeah check it out um like i say we're doing the final things to our little seat runner plate um thing just doing a few drill holes nuts and bolts um through and whatnot and uh yeah we can fit that seat finally and we should feel it nice and stiff <laughs> and uh yeah it'll, it'll be a lot better than it was before so yeah happy days um <clears throat> wicks to buy some bolts that i've probably got at work that i could have for free for 12 pounds yeah i'm moaning um france was whipped on the uh the rear subframe so uh yeah we've we'll put um brand new bearings as well in the uh stuff the bolt okay. um brand new bearings as well in because obviously everything's uh you know very old and tired actually one of those was buggered anyway so uh but yeah we're getting on um seat is obviously going to be put in now that the uh bolts with us one side seat runner in um as you can see we put used four bolts so we're really making the uh the side plates really really rigid and nice and stiff um so when the uh, seat goes in it'll be really stiff and supported and it will feel lovely um obviously if you do do this yourself make sure you use ht um uh, bolts so um heavy tent style uh, strength um bolts because um it won't pass regs on fia um faa fia regs if you um if a tech's going to be really really um not snidey but really really care uh, careful some of them are and they will look at all that kind of stuff and you will need uh, ht um bolt nuts and bolts so make sure you get ht nuts and bolts and for your own safety as well that's the reason why you need to use them so yeah be careful the uh shock and spring well shock really with the, with the spring off um there's a little circlip you might be able to see uh, is this it? Oh, no, t no, we take took it off. There's a circlip you, you need to just remove, and then everything will kind of come off. Because obviously it's not a, that a wild a spring, it's not going to come out and kind of fly at you. But um, yeah, this one's broken anyway, so load on this side, as Francois said. But yeah, we've got the new ones, the new safety Bilstein ones to go on. Yes, the oh, beautiful Bilstein suspension. All fully assembled, circle it back on. Unfortunately, this 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 ruins it, the beautiful um, assembly a little bit, but it doesn't matter because obviously, no matter what you do, you've got to use the standard top mounts. But yeah, all is good. Give you an example of what we were talking about with the circle. France was going to push down on this, and you'll see there's a circle in there. Um, don't worry about breaking or, or removing that that much because uh, the Bilsteins come with a new circle. Happy days. And there is two lovely bits of Bilstein suspension ready to go on the Riz. Lovely. Technology tested on the Norse Life, look. Yeah, the Bilsteins are pretty much on the rear, looking really, really good. Just doing them up from the top mounts. As yay. Yeah. <laughs> plastic bags on here because obviously they're going to be all in the weather and um, try and keep those components the new components like the bearings all, all dry as possible and uh, yeah the Bilstein suspension's all, all on there other side top mounts on the other one's on as well 
and yeah, we're just uh, carrying on with the other side. Um, got the uh, we actually got the seat in finally. Um, when you put um, when you don't put pressure on it, sometimes actually because of how we've fit it, nothing wrong with that. Um, it means that the pull um, thing, the pull kind of um, not cord pull um, uh, rail, I suppose. Yeah, is uh, won't won't, won't pull up, but when you've got weight on it. It pulls up nicely. So yeah, give it, give it some. Uh, there you go. Slides really, really good. So is that the furthest back? Is it front side? That is the furthest back. Yeah. So how's it? How's it look? That's good. Not too bad. Yeah. Height wise, not too bad as well. No, but once you've got the um, roll cage, cage and your helmet's on, we're gonna drop it down to the lowest settings. Yeah, yeah. You, so you okay. think probably the lowest will be the best? Yeah. I think lower the better, really. But yeah, well, I'll have a test fit of that myself. Yeah. Yes. So yes, I am finally in the seat of the C uh, the C one. Oh no, I shouldn't say that. Naughty. Um, I'm finally in the seat of the KA. Um, it's all adjusted. Pedal position is perfect for me. Um, we've got it as far forward as we can be. So someone my heights, which is quite short, about five six, just a fraction over five six. Um, yeah, the seat position spot on. Francois's gone to the furthest um, position we can have it back because it's on sliders, which I'll. Kind of just show you. It's quite hard with one hand. But yeah, we can adjust um, all the way back to a really, really uh, fast state, which uh, France was about 5'11", probably. And um, we've got Peter Gra uh, Graves, who's um, Petrol Ped. Um, I'll give you a link to his YouTube. He's going to be joining us as well. He's 6'3", and he, apparently he's got really lanky legs. So thankfully, um, France was um, tested it out, and it's probably got a good four inch, maybe four five inch, six inch travel. So it's probably good. Our seat's good for anyone from five six all the way up to probably about six five, I reckon. So yeah, really pleased with that. So it's all in, mounted. Feels really really sturdy in here. So yeah, happy days. Awesome. So that's it. Yeah, that's all um, in as it should be, and it is looking good. So let's look and look up at the little race car. Show it from this angle, actually. So look at that. Big old industrial plate on there, but it is looking really, really good. I see the car just needs a good old tidy up. Still lots more to do as such. Cage hopefully next week. Um, and then all the front suspension will be on. And then all the poly bushes are going to be on as well. Because we have been we have been doing that. You'll see from some of the, the uh, videos that I've already shown you in this video. So yeah, pleased with that. <laughs> bumper in my what looks like a scrap heap um, but yeah we're going to basically clean this uh, with warm water to get rid of the dirt and debris then basically we're going to use a proper shampoo then clean it again dry it i'm taping off some of the car um, and also going to be um, yeah spraying this with a satin black um, rattle can from a um, from a can that i'll show you in a mo um, just to make basically rather than this be grey and ugly it's going to be a nice satin black and it's really going to pop make the uh, car pop a little bit and look a lot better yeah I'm going to end on that guys um, yeah thanks for watching as always like share comment subscribe and we'll see you again in the next one bye for now